Hello again everyone and welcome back to Human Revolution with me, Tamita75. And things have gone crazy down here at Rifleman Bank Station. Security's out in force and we need to fight through them to get to Burke. I'm hoping I can make better use of my little turret this time. So first off... When is that going to open? Maybe if I don't set the alarm off, they don't pop out of the ground. This is a Typhoon unit. I need to make sure... I don't get spotted. Right, there's a couple of guards up there. Um, oh, he's coming back, he's coming back. Very sudden. Oh no 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 no. Um, right. I can destroy that with a few bullets. Now I can get back, and get my turret, as that's coming with me. Yep. And it's slow moving with it. But it'll definitely help. Now, first things first, we need to get back to Quinn's because he's left some supplies for me. Or so he says. Well, that's no good because I don't have any uh, inventory space. I may have to leave the rocket launcher behind. Of all things. Okay. While the turret's doing its thing, let me sneak up here. I'm sure there was still a guard up here. I thought there were... There is, but... Where is he? Oh, there he is. That dealt with him. I'm guessing Burke hasn't returned to his quarters. See, I can't even carry ammunition. Yeah, Burke is not here. Didn't think he would be. Uh, I doubt there's anyone in Kaitner's office. No. That's fine. I just wanted to check. Can I get through here yet? No, I still don't have the code. Oh, the hacking ability. There's people through there, though. That'll be where we come when we're heading out, won't it? I'm sure. Anyway. Let's get back down and see how my turret's doing. Hopefully it's doing well. Yep, oh, they've switched the camera back on. Oh. No, don't shoot me. We're over here, dude. All right. Come on. Oh, I can't lift it over this thing, can I? Darn it. All right. There you get up. And then... There you go. Why is that camera on? It should be off. Should be. Turret, do your thing. I, oh, painkillers, is that all? Combat rifle ammo, is that all? Okay, where are these people? I hear voices. I know you've judged me, Jason. My project. And yet you're oh. simply a product of 
the same kind of research. That was good. I like how he died. Face first against the wall. Yeah, there's still someone around. So turret's staying with me. It's a useful tool. Thank you. You're doing well, buddy. You're doing well. And... Um, let me just loot them. No, I can't take that. I'm surprised. I assume the man who took our oh, boat from Barrett and Federova would favor more of a frontal assault. Oh, a tough one to read, Jensen. That's the way to Quinn's. I'll leave me elevator. Elevator. I'll leave me turret there. I can't leave the elevator here. Um, hoping there's no resistance down here. There probably will be. Oh, will there? All seems quiet. There's a radar hit above me, I think. Oh. Ooh. Right, what's he left me? Praxis kit, thank you. Food and drugs, I don't want. Is that all you've left me? Seriously, that was supposed to help me? Right, let's have a look. On his private computer, from Cameron to Garvin. Re, re, oi. Aha, well I think I speak for all of us when I saw we're glad you make it back in one piece when you get yourself all sorted swinged by Blake's. The gang's getting together for a drink after maintenance clocks out. Which was a reply to? And which situation might that be? The one involving 50 foot waves and 90 kilometers an hour winds that nearly sank us? Or maybe you're referring to the psychotic store where with a death wish who nearly cost me my entire bloody shipment. Christ almighty. If I ever see another boat, it'll be too soon. Next time I'm flying. Which was a reply to... I heard about the situation on the boat. Pretty wild. Did you make it out? Okay. From Nigel, Loading Bay 1 turret. Hey Quinn, any chance you can come take a look at one of the turrets up here in Loading Bay 1? Ever since the accident with the forklift, it hasn't been working properly. Thanks mate. Ash. P.S. Any update on my order? I'm getting it's only antsy. a matter of time before my men find you, Jensen. Okay, the turret they're talking about is the one I now have. So Quinn did leave me stuff mostly useless, but a praxis kit? I'm not saying no. I have two again. What am I going to use them with? Um, tempted to take Icarus but I don't need it right now. I could toughen up my skin a bit. Um, but then, if I suddenly need the Icarus, I won't be able to get it. I'll, I'll hold on to the two for now. There's nothing I immediately need that I can think of. So... Let's just get back to the main mission, which is specifically to confront Berg. He knows where Megan and the rest of the scientists are. We're going to have to talk it out of him. Maybe I have to use pheromones on him. Maybe not. I'm sure there'll be a way to get the information without the pheromones. Because not everyone will have that upgrade. 
so uh, there'll always be a way. For such a formidable opponent, you surprise me. No reports from my man on your whereabouts. Have you abandoned your goal? Right. Yeah, I've gone home, you can... You can call the guard off. What do you mean, where am I running to? I'm not moving, mate. Okay, that turret's doing fantastic work. It really is. Oh, there's another turret. Shoot. Um, and the, the turrets don't attack each other, that's a problem. can probably fill it with bullets though. I don't know how many I need but I've got plenty of ammo. <coughs> Am I damaging it? I have no idea. I might not be. Damn. I'm gonna have to go in there. And I need to move fast, so I'm gonna have to leave my turret where it is for now. Okay. Let me. Open wide. Who said that? What the? Okay, a grenade just Hostile, appeared on my head. Where's the dude? Oh, I'm he's, find you. he's right above me, isn't he? He's right above me. Um, let me just dash. Okay. Okay. No go. They are above me. Searching next grid. Understood. Clear. How clear? If it makes you feel any better about Katner's death. All clear. I doubt you had any intention of sending you along to the doctor. Oh. Anyone in here? Right. Can I, uh... Yeah, I can put the turrets back in my control. Not seeing any bad guys on it, though. I wish I had... Oh, there are no robots. Hmm. This turret doesn't affect the other turret. Or maybe it does. Let me have a look. Did you hear footsteps? Who said that? Who said that? Are they above me still? If I were to tell Nadmir. High alert, people! We have a possible situation! Yep, he's above me. He's responsible in some way for your bloodthirsty. Why can't I do a takedown from the ladder? That's annoying that I can't. Okay. Ah! Okay. Now, is there anybody left? Is that turret still my enemy? Will I hurt myself if I drop down here? No, I won't. Right, let's see. Someone hiding over there? Over there! Hold me! Okay, who saw me? Who saw me? Gotcha! Up there? Invisible sniper? Dead invisible sniper. There's still plenty of dudes I'm seeing on the radar. Um, this turret is not my friend. And I don't... 
don't know what just attacked me. Oh, there's another turret. Of course there is. Of course there is. Well, this one's going in the corner. Where it won't do any harm. And... It's only a matter of time before my men find you, gents. <coughs> Nowhere for you to go. Let's make sure that doesn't shoot me. Don't know if there's any people left. <laughs> oh. There's a mine. And this was the last safe spot. Oh, that sucks. Um, looks like I've already picked up the Praxis. Hey. This isn't open. I didn't see that one before. I just wasn't looking, was I? Can't open it anyway, so... Kind of moot. Anyway. I've got to fight my way out again. God knows where to balls. Was brash. Reckless. Damn it. That was careless kill. Walking into a mine. So careless. So stupid. But. You live and learn. Sometimes you die and learn. Anyway, you go there, and you do what you did before, just sort those guys out, eventually. There you go. Where's the rest of them? I don't know. That turret can't see I'm me at the moment. I hear the voices, but... Where are they? I don't know. I do not know. I'm safe behind the turret. And turrets do attack other turrets, provided the other turret attacks them first. So, good to know. Now. Confirm um, sighting. Sniper dude. Take him out, as he was a problem. I can't take. Why did I pick up the concussion grenade? I don't even like them. Where is oh. he? What do you mean, where is he? I'm gonna find you. Yeah, good luck with that. Where is he? I don't see him. I see a sniper. Aha, uh -huh. there, right. Oh. Well, gosh, that was awfully careless of me again, wasn't it? Which brings me back here. Okay. To save all that faffing around, I'm going to do a quick jump cut back to where we were. Come on, shoot me. Why is my turret not helping? Come on. Take it out. <laughs> Buddy, you're supposed to attack the other turret. Never mind, I'll do it myself. Okay, that's this room cleared. Apart from that mine. 
that got me. Where is it? Where is the mine? Lieutenant Commander's mutiny. Over there somewhere. Is there something I can throw at it? Yes, there is. Um, not sure if this will work or not, but... Yeah, that seemed to deal with that mine. Okay. Um, I think we just keep moving, so... Bring me turret, buddy. All the way to this door. Because we're going to meet Burke at some point soon. Uh, HQ thought Kaido would be a good little soldier. But they never are, are they? They set up a new security hub for it, but it's level 5, so I can't hack it. And I definitely can't carry that stuff. Okay, let's keep going. Um, is there anyone here? Let's pick up the pace a bit. I hear a lot of electronic noises. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Or maybe, maybe I am in immediate danger. My God! Holy moly! Why are you turning to face me? And have you dealt with all the threats? That was a big gap. There's still a turret out there. Um, that was a big armored guy. I need to get out there. I'd like to bring my turret, but I'll be moving too slow if I'm carrying it, so... Hell. Let me try something. When the other turret isn't looking directly this way... Can I throw it? I can. It's in that room now? But it's lying on its back, I think. Just gotta get in. Get to cover. There's a mine. I'm doing a quick save before anything careless happens again. Now, where's the big guy that I tonkered? Oh that my pet turret tonkered. Uh, don't want drugs. Don't want... Oh, it counts as ammo though, doesn't it? Right. There's the big guy. Right. You turret. It's some way. You aren't Two my friend. Quite similar, but I question your foresight. Your courage to make difficult decisions. So you go in this corner. Where you're no problem to anyone. I'm sorry I threw you, buddy. But I needed you in this room. It didn't work out how I'd hoped, but... At least you got into this room. Now. B. 
Big Ogre only has a chocolate bar. Useless. He has pistol ammo. He has drugs. He has chocolate. Now explain to me how your killing my man is more justified than the deaths you attribute to me. Hmm. He has beer. You're nothing but a hypocrite. Um, I'm killing them in self-defense, mister. You weren't. You were killing them because you enjoyed it. There's a big difference. A very big difference. Um. This turret isn't doing anything. Huh. Your bloodlust is showing, Jensen. I do think it's gotten the better of you. Yeah, you think a lot of things. Right. Where are we going? Uh, could it be time for the showdown? <laughs> well, you made it! I'm torn between admiration and pity. You've condemned me for my actions, Jensen. But look at the lengths you've gone to to find one woman. Wasted potential. Although from what I've heard, I suspect you'll still be of use to me dead. Your altruism okay. First things first, deal with the box robot. So, EMP grenade. You're out of here. You're an impressive warrior, Jensen. It's a shame you're so undisciplined and idealistic. No what? Oh. Who did that? I saw you. And you. This is not the right weapon. Um, might be able to... Where are you? Mr. Invisible Guy. Haha. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, 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 careful, careful. And you are... Well hidden, actually. Let's get a bit closer to him. I don't know how many people there are. Okay, I think he's sneaking behind. Gotcha. Okay. Now, anybody else? So much righteous anger, judge, jury, and executioner, eh, Jensen? Small minded fool. A turret. Damn. Because I couldn't bring mine with me. I'll be able to sneak behind it, though. There's a couple of guys. Burke's in that little office there, I think. Is your cause any more oh. worthy than mine, Jensen? You seem to think it excuses your own murders. Ah, 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 ah. Heavy. Make sure he's not there. <laughs> he fell beautifully. Didn't he just? Okay. Not seeing any more threats. You've earned your shot, Jensen. 
Come on. Don't don't keep me waiting. You can just go here. He's invited me up to his office. I thought we were going to talk to him, but... If I'm to put a bullet in his head instead... Let's do it up close. Actually, do you know what? Let's catch him alive. Killing him is too good. Oh. He's locked himself in. Let me just loot you first. Um, has he got the code for this door? It might be, you know. The advisor's requested the code to access loading bay 3. Security office has been changed. 5359. I think we can get in. Find your shot, Jensen. Come on. Don't, don't keep me waiting. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Right there. Um, he must be high on drugs or something, because... You've earned your shot, Jensen. Come on. Oh, it's just a Don't flashbang. Me wait, wait. This is, the end, Jensen. is he immune to that? It sounds like your struggles are almost over, Bratan. He's brought dead. I'm standing, he's not. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, you don't make things easy, do you? Still, with Burke out of the picture even briefly, as a power vacuum I can use. Return to Loading Bay 2. The doors between here and the docking platform will be open for you. Last time I passed through there, Burke's men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Burke has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking for Megan Reed, Bratan. I can't leave without knowing. There is a boat heading toward the location as we speak. If you hurry, you can be on it. Okay. Well, I kept him alive so he can be arrested and he can face proper justice. We can make an example of him. But apparently not. Let's have a look at his computer. Autolog remote connection. User authentication verified. Box guard activated, remote contact, blah blah blah. Loads of X's. That's not much use, is it? A message from Gary Savage? Commander, about time, when will it be possible to test the Hydra system in LB-3? I know, it sounds just like him, doesn't it? I would strongly advise against that. The chances that all go as planned are very low, despite the promising candidate we have down here. I have gotten used to your rate of success, Doctor. A direct link between the controller, the biofacilitator and the link team is very risky. This is a wireless connection. Even so, the consequences of premature shutdown or disconnection preclude even attempting it. Consequences, Sir Jails. Any major disruption in controller EEG activity could result in severe damage, permanent disability, even death to the link team and biofacilitator. The spike resulting from a sudden severing of the link is multiplied in the cerebral augmentations needed to be able to connect. It fries the delicate neural tissues. I am not interested in your explanations. It is unacceptable. It is of primary importance to this project that biofeedback issues be minimized. You assured me that I would be the case. Though that would be the case, even. As did Mr. Page. I understand that eventually it will happen, but it will take time. Get back to work, Doctor. Take your time. I know. I should win an Oscar for that. Re-reconfirmation of shipment. Wonderful, thank you. Which was a reply to... Sol interlude is slated to stop over at Omega and continue on towards Hengsha. Full complement of altered subjects will be aboard. I am told there are definitely some promising candidates, 
but I will let the research logs speak for themselves once they arrive. Also, any disassembled components will be loaded onto the interlude for disposal. Berk. Replying to Father D. Commander, we're running out of viable subjects. I realise that preparations are time consuming and laborious and that acquiring suitable materials can be somewhat problematic. However, both our projects are dependent on a constant supply of persons. When can we expect a shipment from Hugh Darrow? I knew he was dodgy. He's been working with Burke. That is very interesting. It's very incriminating. So. Empty lockers. As I understand it, there won't be any more resistance. Maybe. Oh no, even that's shut down, hasn't it? Excellent. Excellent. There's a pocket secretary. Oh. Oh, that's just that email. It wanted me to see Hugh Darrow's name, didn't it? It wanted me to see that. So it put it in two different places. Um, you can keep them. And you can keep... I'll take the... No, I can't take the beer. I can't take the beer? Blimey. Things are worse than we thought. Right. Let's, uh... Thanks, buddy. You did a great job. But I don't think I need you to come with me anymore. I don't think I can bring you. But, um... Let's see. Over this away. Bratan. Quinn? I'm afraid our good friend Quinn met with an unfortunate uh, incident during all the commotion and is no longer with us. Your voice. It was you this whole time. Who are you? For the moment, I'm between identities. I apologize for the duplicity, but it was a necessary precaution. You had to be kept in the dark. And Keitner? Did she know? Commander Keitner's perception was much like yours. Shrouded. She saw what she needed to see, and was told what she needed to hear in order for me to complete the mission. So we were both pawns. Except she's dead and I'm not. So where does that leave me in your grand design? We are all pawns in someone else's grand design, Mr. Jensen. But that doesn't make Natanya's death any less tragic. Your actions ensured her sacrifice was not made in vain, however. Dr. Kavanaugh made it out safely, and is on her way to the rendezvous site. She will expose the truth in due time. Kardner wasn't the only one who died back there. Those prisoners... ...will be added to a long list of Bell Tower's atrocities. We will not let them be forgotten. We mustn't stay here much longer, Mr. Jensen, if we hope to get you away from this base. Well, we've got time to do a little more talking, yeah? I still have questions, Quinn, and I want answers. Real answers. No more bullshit. You really want to waste time chatting, Bratan? Fine. I will answer what I can, but keep in mind you have a boat to catch. Well, make it quick, then. Keitner said she had been approached by an agent from Interpol. It was you, wasn't it? Very astute. One I learned of Commander Keitner's suspicions and insubordinate behavior towards Burke. I saw an opportunity. Pretending to be an agent of Interpol seemed the best way to gain her trust. You mean you lied? So who do you work for? A loose network of independent operatives. Agents of conversion and equilibrium who seek to expose corruption and assure humanity's natural progress. In truth, we are not affiliated with any global organization. But then, neither is our enemy, officially. Your enemy? You're not just talking about Bell Tower anymore, are you? You're talking about... The men and women who pull Bell Tower strings. The same men and women who ordered them to kidnap Megan Reed. 
Bell Tower probably has a battalion on its way to clean up this mess. How do you plan on keeping what we did here a secret? I'm delighted to say that Burke did most of the damage control for us. After requesting the profile search on you, he never explained why he needed it. I believe he wanted to keep control of you to himself. Since that time, we've been monitoring all incoming and outgoing communications, and the lockdown allowed me to discreetly install a tunneler, rerouting the base's network traffic. By the time Beltow realizes something is wrong, it will already be too late. What about the rest of the base personnel? Most of them think Burke is still in command. Technically, orders continue to be issued in his name, but I'm the one making the calls. I've also taken the liberty of coordinating of this sector of the base. For the moment, at least, we're safe. Burke isn't exactly dead, and once he wakes up, it's gonna get ugly. Like I said before, you haven't made things easier for us. But they haven't forgotten that small detail. For now, Buck remains contained. Once you're off the base, I'll find a more permanent solution. Okay. We're gonna use pheromones on him. He was always Alpha. He's gotta be Alpha. Everything about him is Alpha. Mr. Jensen, allow me to stop you there before you say anything that might embarrass us both. What? Please. I detected your Cassie augmentation the moment you started to analyze my facial movement for pattern sequencing. But back in your workshop, you... All part of the game. Think nothing of it. As much as I enjoyed your clumsy attempts at persuasion the first time around, we'll just move on from here, now. Pretending you managed to convince me to be more forthcoming with my words. What is it you hope to learn? Something more tangible than a flowery speech about idealism. Because I admire your tenacity. I will attempt to satisfy your curiosity, but only if you'll humor me for a moment and answer a question of my own. Sounds fair. In Roman mythology, Janus was a god depicted as having two heads, each gazing in the opposite direction, one looking eastward, the other west. Symbolically, this meant many things to the Romans, but I'm more curious as to what it might mean to you. Doesn't mean anything to me. Let's see what our choices are. Indecision? Nah. Chaos? Nah. Duplicity? Duality? Uh, I don't agree with any of them, but I like the sound of this one. Seeing into the past and the present. The beginning and the end. Alpha and Omega. I believe you and I have more in common than you would like to admit. Technically, I suppose there is no incorrect answer. Theologians and philosophers have debated the origin and meaning of Janus for millennia. But in time, that name may take on new meaning for you. Why? What are you getting at? While the term invisible war has lost much of its significance due to misappropriation, I assure you, there has never been a better way to describe what is happening in the world. The lives of millions are being decided without a drop of blood ever spilt. But the casualties remain the same. Myself and others are fighting a never-ending battle against forces that seek absolute dominion over our fates. You're telling me the people running Bell Tower want to rule the world? Bell Tower Associates is no more than a proxy. Puppets on a global stage. The true enemy hides in shadows. The disembodied hands that pull the strings of Bell Tower and others. This is neither the time nor the place to go into detail, but everything you've witnessed here today is in direct correlation with Illuminati interests. <sighs> Roman gods and Illuminati. Wonderful. You asked for clarity, and I'm being as honest as I can. Whether you choose to acknowledge them or not, lines are being drawn. Most will never be lucky enough to pick a side, but a time will come when you will have to. I have chosen mine. Wow, he likes to talk. Um, is that the one I just asked him? Uh, Bell Tower probably has a battalion on its way to clean up this mess. Yeah, How do you yeah, I, I asked that one. Most of them... Burke isn't... Like it. And that one. He, he talks so much, I can't remember what we talked about. About your employer. I've said all there is to say about the matter. Perhaps, in due time, you will learn more when it is appropriate. Until then, we will cease this topic of discussion. Okay, I guess. Where's Megan? Alright. Where's Megan? I don't know for certain. 
But what I do know is that earlier today, Burke issued orders to have a large group of detainees transferred off this base. Supposedly, they will be assisting at another black site facility. Kavanaugh said this was just the factory floor. You're sure Megan is at this other facility? Nothing is ever certain in life, Mr. Jensen. But it is the best chance you have. Unfortunately, the cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail. But I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name, ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be flown on board. In stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Last time I got in one of those things, it didn't go so well. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although, I suppose you could try swimming there. Better be the right fucking boat this time. Because I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, mate. It'll be grand. Besides, I thought you Americans liked riding off into the sunset. All right. Got a whole bunch of Praxis back. And... There's the rest of my stuff. Damn. And a pocket secretary. I have taken many risks to secure these items for you, Bratan. I trust we put them to good use until we meet in person. Didn't we just meet in person? Is this not the same person? Is there another? Anyway. I'm all out of time. Look, a floating shotgun. Cool. I don't want it though. Um. I need to sort my inventory out. So I'm going to do that off screen. And. I got me a Praxis as well, didn't I? 21 available? <gasps> oh. I'm going to sort all that out off screen. And when we come back next time. We can hop straight into the stasis pod and get on with finding Megan. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.